Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Brian and in this video we'll talk about one of the most powerful affordable gaming laptops on the market right now. It is MSI GF65 Thin RTX 3060 Edition. It is not the newest model, but its price is just way too good not to review this little beast. I've been testing it for the last several days now and I'm gonna tell you about its specs, RAM and storage upgrade options, of course we'll talk about its gaming performance, as well as disadvantages and some other features. I start my reviews discussing the screen almost every time and this one is no different. MSI GF65 comes with a 15.6 inch Full HD IPS level panel and on paper it seems to be good. But when I saw it in person, it is not as good as they advertised. Yes, it is actually pretty smooth at 144Hz refresh rate, but its color accuracy is definitely not the best, it has only 56% sRGB gaming coverage. Also its brightness is a little below the average at 260 nits and the response time from black to white is around 25 to 30 milliseconds. But ladies and gentlemen, poor screen is the price we pay to get a truly powerful hardware in this budget. So in this case we got a powerful 10th generation Intel i7 CPU rocking 6 cores and 12 threads and it works at actually high frequencies. Although Intel i7 10750H processor is actually a previous year's model, it is still incredibly fast and powerful. It is dealing well with heavy calculations, rendering, coding and emulating operation systems, multitasking and of course it is a great suit for gaming. They paired it with a 75W configuration NVIDIA RTX 3060 graphics card which packs 6GB of video memory on board and this graphics card is actually the reason why the price is so low. You see, in the 30 series graphic cards they started to create different configuration of them without changing the name. There are 65 watts RTX 3060 cards as well as 115 watts RTX 3060. So their difference in performance is dramatic and the name is still the same. And in our case we have something in the middle in terms of power. And please don't get me wrong, this thing is fantastic for gaming, as well as any kind of 3D and creative work, like for example video and movie editing, or work with Blender and After Effects and so on. In about a minute I'll show you the average frame rates in different games tested on this device by me personally, but before that I want to finish with the hardware. This configuration comes with 60GB of RAM working in dual channel mode, which is alright, and I think you don't need to upgrade it right out of the box. Maybe over some time it'll become not enough for gaming and heavy work. I'm talking about like 2 years, 5 years, something like that. So let me tell you about its upgrade options. There are 2 slots for RAM inside and both of them are occupied by 8GB sticks of random access memory working at 3200MHz. The laptop supports up to 32GB RAM total and I'll leave a link to the suitable upgrade kit in the description box for you. And talking about storage, it has 2 PCIe slots total supporting Gen 3 SSDs, one of them is taken by a pre-installed 512GB SSD unit and you can easily upgrade it by adding another one up to 2TB capacity. Once again, check the description box below this video for a ton of useful information and links. Now ladies and gentlemen, as I promised before, here comes probably one of the most interesting parts of the video. I've created this list of average frame rates playing different games using high graphics preset and full native resolution, which is 920 by 1080 pixels. The results are actually awesome and you can comfortably play any AAA game experience in no issues at all. If you're buying this machine for live streams though, for some games you'd want to play with settings a little, maybe drop it to medium or something like that. Now this laptop has thin in its name. I wouldn't call it thin to be honest, it's pretty bulky and aggressive and because of its thickness it stays cool pretty much all the time. I've never seen temperature of the GPU went above 80 which is alright for a gaming laptop's graphics card, but with the CPU it had been hitting 96 degrees under heavy loads until I tweaked its settings using MSI's Dragon Center app. It's pre-installed in this laptop actually. So yeah, keep an eye on attempts, maybe tweak the settings a little or just get a cooling pad. Also, this laptop works pretty quiet most of the time, but the fans never actually full stop. Come on, it packs a 45W processor and 75W GPU. Even on paper it should never stop, at all times. Now ladies and gentlemen, I want to make a little post to recommend you to follow my telegram channel Deals of the Day, where I post the best Amazon discounts and offers on a daily basis. I've been posting a lot recently and you can actually find great laptops for yourself at fantastic prices. 
We also now have a chat called Let's Discuss Tech, where you can ask me your questions, take a part in discussions, and just get useful info. The links to them are in the description box below, definitely check them out, and let's get back to our video. Talking about the keyboard of MSI GF65, it is decent. Nothing special, but it is comfortable to use it in games as well as type in text. I've typed this whole video script on it and it was okay experience. I've typed half of it at night and because it's backlit, I enjoyed it even more. Only red backlighting color available, no RGB, keep that in mind. Now the touchpad is low quality, it is not very precise, but usable to choose a movie to watch for example, or scroll through web pages. I use this laptop with my favorite wireless mouse, Razer or Rochi V2 90% of the time, and it is a simple and cheap solution for the touchpad issue. Now the big advantage of this machine is its port selection. Taking into account its screen and touchpad, you obviously want to build a full-size setup for yourself, connect a good monitor with vibrant colors, your favorite headphones, maybe you also have your favorite keyboard, mouse, and actually enjoy laptop's performance on a whole new level. Honestly, that is what I would do if I had to use this machine for a long time. So yeah, it features an updated HDMI 2.0 for connecting an up to 4K resolution external monitor, two USB 3.2 Type-C ports, which are not Thunderbolt ports, so you can only transfer files extremely fast through them, no charging and other cool features, also an RJ45 port for fast cable internet, two USB 3.2 Type-A ports, 3.5 combined audio jack, and of course a charging port. Although it has its limitations, it is actually very rich. Now, talking about some other cool features, MSI GF65 supports Wi-Fi 6, has a 720p HD webcam on top of the screen, providing average video quality, and although it's made of plastic entirely, it has a solid build quality. It doesn't feel cheap for sure. Now, making a conclusion, I want to say that in my opinion, this laptop is worth the money asked. Its biggest advantage is obviously its performance and there is only one direct competitor with NVIDIA RTX 3060 graphics card on board at this price point on the market right now. I'm talking about Gigabyte G5KC and choosing between these two I'd probably still go for MSI. They usually pack higher quality components than Gigabyte recently, so I'm convinced that it is a more reliable laptop. Ladies and gentlemen, that is it for the video, now you know about all the pros and cons of this device and I truly hope the info I shared is useful for you. Definitely follow my telegram channel, also join our chat, I'd love to see you there because I want to build an actually strong community and help as many people as I possibly can, I want you to actually enjoy devices you spend the money on and that's why I do all these tests and all these reviews. So yeah, check out the links below in the description box and see you in the next video.